we learn about percentages, conversion from decimals to percentages. In this lesson, let's learn important tips and tricks about percentages so we don't use a calculator. For example, like this, 50 by 100 times 120, or like this, 25% of 250. Stick around and watch till the end. Hi, I'm Nak. Hi, I'm Tak. Welcome to Nak Tak 910. Hey, today in this lesson, we're going to learn something interesting tricks to find percentages quickly and easily without a calculator. Now tell me what is 50% of 120. Okay, let me calculate this. 50 by 100 times 120 equals 50 times 120 by 100 equals 6,000 by 100 equals 60. So 50% of 120 is 60. Well, correct. Instead of calculating, there is a simple trick. We can just find the 50% of any number without any calculation. Really? Uh, how did I do that? 50% means 50 by 100. When simplified, it is exactly 1 half. So, to find 50% of any number, we need to just find half of the number. In this question, half of 120 is 60 which is the same answer which we got by calculating. This is so easy. Now tell me, what is 50% of 50? Half of 50 is 25. So 50% of 50 is 25. Try this. What is 50% of 36? Half of 36 is 18. So 50% of 36 is 18. Now tell me, how would you find 10% of 230? I would calculate in the same way I did for finding 50%. 10 by 100 times 230 equals 10 times 230 by 100 equals 2300 by 100 equals 23. 10% of 230 is 23. Good! 23 is 10% of 230. But there is a simple trick to find even 10% of any number without any calculation. To find 10% of any number, just place the decimal point before the last digit. 10% of 230, let's place the decimal point before the last digit. 23.0, which is nothing but 23. So, 10% of 230 is 23. Now let's try with this with another example. 10% of 323. Just by looking at this, we can say 10% of 323 is 32.3. Just we need to place the decimal point before the last digit. Now let's verify with our calculation. 10 by 100 times 323. 10 times 323 divided by 100, which is 3,230 divided by 100. So 323 by 10? So our answer is 32.3. Dividing by 10 means to just place the decimal point before the last digit. Similarly, 10% of number means 10 by 100 or 1 by 10th of a number, which is same as just dividing by 10. So we need to place the decimal point before the last digit. So we got the same answer either way. That's 32.3. This is interesting. Now try this. Tell me what is 10% of 542. 10% of 542 is 54.2. There's even a simple trick to find 1% of any number. In this case, Finding 10% of a number, we place the decimal point before the last digit in this case. We need to place the decimal point before the last two digits. For example, 1% 1 of 123 is 1.23. We place the decimal point before the last two digits, 2 and 3, so 1% 1 of 123 is 1 1.23. Let's check this with our calculation. 1 by 100 times 123. 
1 times 123 divided by 100. 123 divided by 100, which gives us 1.23. Division by 100 means to just place the decimal point before the last two digits. Similarly, 1%, which is 1 by 100, of a given number, which means we divide the given number by 100. So we place the decimal point before the last two digits. So 1% 1 of 123 is 1 1.23. Now tell me, what is 1% 1 of 54? 1% of any number means to place the decimal point before the last two digits. So 1% 1 of 54 is 0 0.54. Perfect. Now try this. How would you find 5% of 40? I know 10% of 40 is 4. 5% of half of 10, which means 5%, is half of 4, which is 2. So 5% of 40 is 2. Perfect! Now let's see how we can solve little bit complicated problems using these tricks. Now let's find 25% of 60. 50% 50 of 60 is 30. So 25% of 60 is half of 30. That's 15. So 25% of 60 is 15. Here's the summary of what we learned today. We learned how to find out 50%, 25%, 10%, 5%, and 1%. Right, let's do something. I give you a number, and you find out all these different percents for that number. How does that sound? Sounds interesting. Done deal! 300. 50% of 300 is half of 300. That's 150. 25% of 300, 50% is 150, and 25% is half of this. That's 75. 10% 300 is one decimal to the left. That's 30. 5% of 300, 10% of 300 is 30. And 5% would be half of this. That's 15. 1% 1 of 300, just place the decimal point be before the last two digits. That's 3. Or another way is 10% of 300 is 30. So 1% would be another decimal to the left. That's 3. Exactly. Now do the same for, say, 250. Friends, try solving this with me. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. 50% of 250 is half of 250. That's 125. 25% 25 of 250. 50% 50 is 125, and 25% 25 is half of 125. That's half of 120 is 60, but we need to find half of 125. So let's write 125 as 120 plus 5. Half of 120 is 60, and half of 5 is 2.5. Altogether, 62.5. 25% 25 of 250 is 62.5. 10% of 250 is one decimal point to the left. That's 25. 5% 5 of 250. 10% 10 of 250 is 25. And 5% would be half of 25. Let's write 25 as 20 plus 5. Half of 20 is 10. And half of 5 is 2.5. Altogether, 12.5. 5% 12 of 250 is is 12.5. 1 percent of 250. 10 percent of 250 is 25. So 1 percent would be another decimal to the left and that's 2.5. This is fun. I really don't need a calculator to find percentages from now. Fantastic! That's why I always say math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts. With a little bit of practice and loads of fun! Like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell for more fun videos. Make sure you share it with your friends and family to have math fun!